Paul's tour continues on foot. What's all this then? Is this all yours as well? And then this is vineyard. I have heard about her wine. I haven't had a chance to try it. We're going to change that today. Let's keep walking. We'll show you the garden. Absolutely. The ethos of Baja Cuisine is very Mexican. It's about using what's available around you. Drew either grows what he cooks or tries to source it very locally. This is one of the farms that uh, provides for the restaurant. This style of cuisine is now widely known as Baja Med, although Drew doesn't like that term, so fingers crossed Paul doesn't mention it. So is, is this what they call Baja Med? Oh. OK. Here we go. I don't mean that in a derogatory way. No, but it's a word that's used a lot. But I don't need to compare myself with another place in the world. Well, no. We're Baja food. This has got nothing to do with the Mediterranean. It's Baja California. Drew is from the States and has worked all over the world in Michelin-starred restaurants. So why has he made his home in Baja? Before I got here, I never really knew what I wanted but I knew what I didn't want. I don't want to live there. I don't want that kind of a situation. Mm. And I, it took me a couple of years being here before I really was able to say I didn't have any complaints. You found the Garden of Eden in the middle of Baja. It's, it's very special. Of course, it's tricky to grow your own seafood, but with the Pacific Ocean just over the hills, Drew can take his pick of that morning's catch. Wow, that's an impressive haul today. All sustainably caught, all Pacific. So, Ramon, what do we got today? We got yellowtail. That's a beautiful fish. This, Paul, this I want to cook for you. Have you ever had gooey duck before? No. Quite phallic. Uh, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it's time to cook. So we write our menus every day, Paul, based on what the fishermen are bringing us, what we have in the garden. And not wanting to be left out, Paul's doing his thing too. I saw that in his amazing outdoor kitchen, Drew had a bread oven. Well, it would have been rude not to knock up a focaccia with tomatoes, thyme and olives, don't you think? I love the taste of focaccia. I make this a lot at home. I think with plenty of olive oil, good ingredients, and you end up with a nice loaf. And remember that phallic clam? Sorry, that does not That's... look like any clam right. I've ever seen. Well, Drew swiftly turns it into a ceviche chef snack. And so I just sliced it up just a little bit. Give it a try. Mmm. Yeah. That lemon with it's nice. That's incredible. I've never seen anything like that before. I think it's about time to eat. How's the bread gone? Yeah, I'm going to give it another five minutes. Yeah, that, that oven is, is sort of a dinosaur. If it stays in one spot for too long, this is... Very scorched and dark, and this is raw. Yeah, don't say that. I'm going to check it now. Yeah, you not? better check it. All of Drew's food, except the bread, is cooked on wood fires, and the smell in the kitchen is amazing. After more chopping, checking, grilling and checking... Happy with that. It's time for Paul to find out just how good Baja cuisine can get. The moment of truth. I'm looking forward to this. First, a glass of wine, made from the grapes in the field in front of them. Salud. That's so, delicious. This is sort of designed to go with what we're about to eat. We had fish. So this is that big yellowtail that came off the truck. Ah. So it's just sliced up. Mm. Beautiful. It's almost got a smokiness to it. So it's funny, everything we do is wood-fired. Mm. So when we make anything, even a cup of coffee... <laughs> it's got a smokiness. It's got a smokiness. We had my bread. Yeah, if the TV thing doesn't work out, you know... We've got a job. We're always, we're always looking for <laughs> Listen, I'll be over next week, I'll be honest. <laughs> and the main course was ribeye steak, Drew's number one bestseller. So what I like to do is take the bone marrow and just scrape it right on top of the ribeye. You definitely have to visit the cardiologist when you leave. Yeah, obviously. Mm. I love you, Drew. I want you to know that. Feeling's <laughs> <laughs> the same, brother. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Salud.